Hi everyone, Miss Balloonverse here. This is a recap of our class on how to make balloons. So, I hope you've all got your lovely bag of mixed balloons and your pump, so you're ready to begin. So, taking this balloon, this is the nozzle, that's the kind of round bit at the end. I'm going to take the nozzle and push it down onto the end of my balloon pump. I'm going to push it quite far down and then hold onto it really firmly. If you don't hold onto it firmly and you start pumping, then the balloon will just fly off into the air. So holding onto it, I'm going to pump up the balloon and I'm going to leave a portion without any air inside it. I'm going to leave for this balloon dog about a grown-up's hands width or about four to five inches about that much. The reason is that when we twist a balloon we move the air along the balloon and if it does have, doesn't have anywhere to go it'll go pop and we don't want that. So here we go blowing up the balloon and I'm stopping right there. Then you can feel that the balloon's quite tight. I don't want it too tight, more likely to pop. So what I'm going to do is what we call burping the balloon. I'm going to let a little bit of air out like this. Did you hear that? So it's now a little bit softer but still fully inflated to where I want it to be. Now I'm going to show you a really easy peasy way to tie a knot in the balloon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of twist off a little bubble there and let the air out. This gives me a nice long string to tie the knot. Now you can tie the knot any way you like, but the way I like to do it is this. I get my two fingers like this slightly apart and then I wrap the string around and then I push it through the middle of my fingers where the nozzle is. So it's like that. Then I can even let it go like that. Then I just pull my fingers out and lo and behold, we have a knot. So I can just pull it a little bit tighter, give it a squeeze, then it gets a nice satisfying bulge of where our dog's nose is going to be. So to twist off the dog's nose, well dogs don't have a very big nose, so I'm going to make it about um, one and a half inches long. So I'm going to grab the balloon where I want the dog's nose to end, and I'm going to twist the rest of the balloon. One, two, three. Now I'm going to keep hold of where I twisted it because I need to lock it into place because if I let it go now, this will happen. We don't want that to happen. So one, two, three. Now just for making that one twist, I can feel that it's already getting a little bit tighter. So I'm gonna give it a good squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. These are very good quality balloons, so we don't need to worry about giving them a good squeeze. They're not going to pop from that. Now I'm going to make the dog's ears. Dogs don't have great big ears, but I'm just going to bend the balloon like this and judge how big I want my dog's ears to be. I can go smaller or I can go bigger. I'm going to go about here. So I'm going to grab the nose and the rest of the balloon. And then with my other hand, I'm going to grab that loop and twist one, two. There we've got the nose and the ears of the dog. Give it another squeeze. Now I'm going to make the neck of the dog. Now dogs don't have a very long neck, so I'm going to twist a bubble that's about one inch long. So I'm going to grab it with my fingers where I want the neck to end and I'm going to twist the rest of the balloon. One, two, three. Keeping hold of it, because if I let go, this will happen. One, two, three. Give it another squeeze. Now I'm going to make the front legs of the dog. So just like we did the ears, I'm going to bend the balloon. I'm going to grab the neck, holding on to the rest of the balloon right here. Grown-ups, you can help little hands with this. Then I'm going to grab this loop and I'm going to twist one, 
too, just like we did with the ears. So see, we've got the front part of the doggy here. Now, making balloons is all about proportion. So what I have to do here is judge what I have, because out of this, I have to make the body of the dog, the back legs, which hopefully will be the same size as the front legs, and leave enough for a tail. So let's do it by eye. Give it a squeeze. Now I've got quite a long body here. You might just have a short body. I think my body should be this long. So I'm going to twist it here. You might have much less balloon, so you could do a little short body like this, and that would be fine too. It would still look like a really nice dog. So I'm going to pinch it here and go one, two, three. Holding on, because if I let go, that will happen. One, two, three. Give it another squeeze. Then I'm going to bend the balloon just like we did for the front legs and for the ears. And judging by eye, I'm going to try and make these two loops the same size. Mm. I can go shorter, longer. Mm. I think that's about right. Then holding on to the body of the dog and the rest of the balloon, I'm going to grab this part and go one, two. And there we are. We have our balloon doggy. Sometimes when you finish twisting it, it can be a bit this way and that way. Doesn't look like a dog at all, does it? But just make sure you've got the nose, the ears, the front legs, and then the back legs. You can get it all into position and it's perfect. Then you can have fun with your stickers or with your pen, drawing the face on, or whatever other message you want on it. Have fun making balloons.